Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kara. I'm a beauty content creator who just loves playing with makeup. And look what finally came, ColourPop's All The Buzz collection. So I picked up ColourPop's new All The Buzz collection, which comes with three subset collections in one. So you basically get three different collections in one collection so you get three of everything so i made this into a three-part series the first series was so buzzed the second series was glow for it so today we are going to be doing the last series series three using the let's fly away collection so the let's fly away collection goes for 44 dollars. you get an eyeshadow palette a luxe lip oil two Super Shock shadows, and a body highlighter. If you are interested in any of the other two collections, I will link the videos in the description box below. So for today's video, we're going to be going over the Let's Fly Away collection. So the first product we're going to talk about is the Lux Lip Oil, which this is in the shade Emperor. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna be obsessed with the packaging like I've been with the other two collections. I mean, look at it. I, I This co whole collection is so beautiful. Here is the component. It's like a baby pink cap with, I guess they're dragonflies. The color is a nude with a gold flip. And you have your average lip applicator. I'll try and give you a swatch, but lip oils are kind of difficult to swatch, but we'll try. So here is the swatch, can't really see much. So let's apply this on our lips. And I have noticed these lip oils are so moisturizing. They're so nourishing, they don't dry down. They don't really have color but they are very pretty. I don't see the gold flip as I'm looking, <laughs> but this is great for an everyday lip oil. The next product is the Shimmering Body Powder. Again, the packaging is gorgeous. This is called Bronze Hour. Here is the back, which basically tells you how to use the product and what it is. I'm really excited to see the inside of this one. I have not opened it yet, just because of the way the color is described. Here is your packaging. It is a very light baby pink. You got your dragonflies. It is considered a mini. This isn't your average highlighter, body highlighter that comes from ColourPop. As you can see, it's about the size of the palm of my hand, but these are the minis. And then here is the back. Here's the inside. I'm a little bit underwhelmed because the color says it's a soft golden bronze laced with baby pink and silvery duochrome pearls. Maybe we'll be able to see it in the swatch. I don't know. Here is it on the finger. And then here is the swatch. I'm a bit underwhelmed with that just because of the way the description says laced with baby pink and silvery duochrome pearls. Um, I don't see that. I see a very light peachy pink highlighter. <laughs> so the last two collections that I did videos on, when it came to the highlighter, I didn't read the box because on the box it shows, it says how to use it. So this time I'm going to read it and we're going to try it both ways. And then the way I've been using it to see the differences. It says, for an extra highlighted look, use a dampened body blending sponge to sweep shimmer over skin. For a soft wash of shimmer, use an angled body kabuki brush. I'm gonna do this side of my decollege with the angled kabuki brush, this side with the dampened sponge, and then I'm gonna use just a regular highlighter brush and try and just put it on my cheekbones and see how that looks. I'm going to go in with my Sigma F84, which is an angled kabuki brush. I'm going to go in, and I'm just kind of pounced it, so I'm assuming it's on there. And I guess we do that. 
All right, so it didn't really do much but leave some sparkles. Let's try with a wet sponge, and my sponge is clean, it just stained. I'm gonna go in. I'm always afraid of putting like a wet sponge into powder. I'm always afraid I'm gonna ruin it. <laughs> so that definitely picked up product. So we're gonna go on this side. And that, oh yeah, that shows up so much better. And I'm sure you can see it. But again, it's very glittery. Very, very glittery. So if you're the type that does not like glitter in your highlighter, you are not gonna like any of the highlighters in any of the collections. This one has a little less glitter than the other two collections, but it still, it still has glitter in it. Now I'm gonna go in with my Sigma F06 brush and try and put it on my cheekbones and see what it looks like. It does not pick up very well on a soft brush, but let's see. That definitely gave glitter. <laughs> so let me apply some with my finger. And that definitely is going to give more glitter. I think it looks better when you go in with the finger. Go in on this side. It is very pretty. I see the pink a little bit. It's definitely very pretty, very glittery. So that's definitely going to be a personal preference on what you like. Again, I would say if you don't like glitter, you are not going to like these at all. These would be great for like inner corner highlights or on the lid to go on top of like if you put like a dark base and then go on top with this. Oh, that would look gorgeous. The next product is the Super Shock Shadows called Flown Away. Here's the packaging. I mean, oh my god. I just, I am in love with this packaging. Here are the ingredients in case you want to see that. And then this comes up like this. Oh, look at that. Woo, look at those colors. And then again, gorgeous packaging all around. So here are your Super Shock Shadows. As you can see, you got baby pink in a plastic component. And then here are the shades. This one right here is Ladybird, which is a soft ivory with multi-dimensional silver glitter. This one is Mint For You, which is a mid-tone mint with gold flecks. Here they are on the finger. That swatch and that one. Ooh, I like that blue. And lastly, we have the eyeshadow palette called So Fly. And again, packaging is everything. And then here is the back showing you the shades and the beautiful dragonflies and flower. Now, we'll mention that inside all the packaging of the entire collection. There's all this detail on the inside. I don't know if all ColourPop packaging is like that. I've never really noticed, but in this whole collection, there is some, not only is the outside of the packaging gorgeous, the inside of the packaging is amazing as well. And then here is the palette. It's exactly the same as the box. Now these palettes do not have mirrors. They only have beautiful detail that do not have mirrors on them. Here are the shades, which this middle one right here looks like it's going to change colors. <laughs> so let me get you some swatches. Here are the first three shades. You have Flight Path, Skydive, Dragon Tail. Here are the next three shades. Speedy, FYI, Colorful. In the last three shades. Depart, Wingtip, Damselfly. And then here are the swatches. 
All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go do one eye off camera so I can kind of collect my thoughts and try and incorporate the shock shadows into the palette. And then I'll come back, we'll do the other eye together. And then I'll tell you my final thoughts on the collection. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. This is the look I came up with. So I will zoom you in and we'll do this other eye together. I did prime my eyes with Rare Beauty eye primer and set it with a little bit of powder. I'm gonna go into Dragon Tail with this Morphe blending type brush. And I'm gonna start by putting that in the crease as a transition shade. <laughs> same brush we're gonna go into colorful and that is gonna go in the crease as well you wanna know. using a Sigma E28 I'm gonna go into depart and that is gonna go all over my lid and up into my crease now going back to that first brush with a little bit of the shade Colorful to start blending out this dark shade. Going back into Dragon Tail with a Sigma E38, and I'm going to use that to just blend over top of all these shades. I am using that same brush and I went into a different palette to get like a skin tone shade just to kind of put right under my brow. And I'm going to take a Morphe flat brush and go into Damselfly and that's going to go over my all over my lid as well but not in my crease, just on the lid. Then I'm gonna take a Sigma E54 and go into FYI, and I'm gonna put that all over my lid. just a, any clean fluffy brush and just go over top of that shimmer. You love me. I'm gonna take this Super Shock Shadow Mint For You with a Sigma E20 and I'm putting that along my entire lower lash line. Then I'm gonna use my Sigma E30 and go into the other Super Shock Shadow in Ladybird. I'm gonna put that in on my inner corner and I'm also going to put it underneath the middle of my brow. Alright, so I'm going to go do liner and lashes, and I'll be right back to show you the final look, and we'll go over the collection, and I'll tell you my thoughts on it. Alright, I'm back, and here's the finished look. So, my thoughts on the collection. This is a really pretty collection. The highlighter, the body highlighter, whatever you want to call it, I actually like this most out of the entire collection. It's not as glittery. I mean, there's still glitter in it, but it just, it's not as glittery. And it's really, really pretty. It's not like super overpowering and it could be worn anywhere. And it's just, it's a really good highlighter. I was though, a little underwhelmed by the description based on what this came out and looked like but other than that it, it is really pretty the lip oil it's okay I mean it's a nude type color you're not gonna you're not gonna see it so I mean it would be nice if you don't have any makeup on you just want to throw something on your lips to give it a little extra shine be perfect for that so yeah it's not bad the shock shadows are really pretty these ones I did notice were a lot softer than the others in the other collection whenever I dipped my brush in it it was leaving like big indents where the other 
<laughs> where the other shock shadows did not do that. I really like this blue color, the teal, whatever you want to call it. It's very, very pretty. This, this one, uh, Ladybird, it's basically just silver. I mean, or glitter. That's, that's all it really is. It's not really a color. These are pretty great though. The eyeshadow palette. I really like this eyeshadow palette. I really like this color right here. It's like a duochrome. That's what I have on my eyes and I used a dark base. These are really pretty colors. I cannot wait to play with the rest of the colors that I didn't, I didn't get to play with today, but this is a great palette. Overall, this collection is nice. It really is really nice. You can buy all these products individually if you don't want certain, certain ones. And I will link all the products, all the collections. I will link that down below. But overall, it's a good collection. Worth $44? Meh. I personally don't think so. I wouldn't want everything in this collection. I probably would only want one or two things. So I would probably buy them individually. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. As always, I will link everything down in the description box below. I will link the entire collection. I'll link this collection along with all the products individually. I will also link series one and two, which is glow for it and so buzzed i will link those videos and those collections down below and everything that i'm wearing on my face as well so make sure you subscribe to my channel thank you for watching and i hope to see you all again soon bye